before the video starts, I just want to say for every single person that leaves a like on this video, that goes down there and leaves a like, clicks the like button, they will get themselves a free legendary chest. That's just the way it's gonna be. I don't know why this happens, I don't know how, but I just know that if you leave a like on this video right now, you will get yourself a legendary chest for absolutely free. Without paying any money or gems at all, one of your next chests will be one of these legendary chests and you'll get it for absolutely free. So if you're one of those people who doesn't get legendaries very often, remember to leave a like on this video and you will get the best luck to get the legendary. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my overlay designer because the overlay in this video was actually made by a new designer. I basically want to surprise him. So everyone who's actually watching this video at this current moment in time, make sure to go in the first link in the description below where it will say subscribe to my designer. It will just basically have a little link there to his channel. Make sure everyone clicks on that and subscribes to his channel. Say a bunch of comments on his video. Spam his comments with the red track sent me and just a bunch of stuff and maybe he will get a really big surprise. And not only that, if some of you guys are YouTubers out there who are looking to get some new GFX such as profile pictures, banners, or overlays. This guy is your go-to because this guy did it for free. So if some of you guys out there are looking for some great GFX, remember to go to this guy's channel, subscribe to him, maybe tell him that I sent you to his channel and maybe potentially he could do it for free for you guys. But yeah, that's all I want to say. Remember to check him out in the description and without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up guys and welcome back to another video where I have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys for the new October update of Halloween. It could be coming really soon because as you guys know, Supercell have basically updated Clash of Clans to basically just match the Halloween update. They basically released the new Halloween update for Clash of Clans where there's a bunch of changes like the different loading screen with the Halloween theme. They've made uh, a bunch of like new troops. They have like a pumpkin barbarian and a giant skeleton. So I was thinking that now that Supercell have updated Clash of Clans, surely soon we will be getting the Halloween update for Clash Royale if there's going to be one. So if anytime soon there's going to be an update, I've got a bunch of stuff to show you guys including a new Halloween offer that is insane and also a new legendary card troop that would match Halloween uh, perfectly like I love this card so much and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. So remember to leave a like if you do want to get yourself a free legendary chest. I mean, there's nothing that you can really go wrong with leaving a like and getting a free legendary. I mean, everyone just kind of wants that. But yes, guys, as you know, I did make a video yesterday talking about Halloween and Clash Royale and just different arena, different skins for cards and how they would look for the Halloween themed update. Whether or not we'll be getting new loading screens for Halloween and Clash Royale. And today we'll be talking a lot more and just like a bunch of more stuff we'll be showing you guys about potentially what could be coming to the Halloween. Halloween October update very very soon because as you know Halloween's literally like a week away from now on so I really can't wait to see if Supercell actually do do something this year for Halloween or if they're just going to leave it like they did last year and it's gonna be kind of boring for the game but yeah let's get straight into the first thing that I want to show you guys which is actually going to be the new legendary card which is actually made by Sardar who is a very talented guy I'm leaving a link to his channel in the description below I will actually show you guys the card that he's made it's actually he's such like a talented designer I can't stress this enough he's the one that actually made this hypnotist card and to say the least it looks very good here is basically what the card would look like and here is his stats so basically says level 1 the hypnotist it's obviously a legendary that costs 5 elixir for the description it says poof he says when landing in the arena when he approaches the enemy he swings his spiral and hypnotizes troops to play for you if he takes any damage he resets so basically what sardar is saying is basically that you place this guy down he doesn't do any damage to the opponent's troops you basically place him down as a kind of tactical unit and basically whenever he's placed down whenever he basically doesn't take any damage he will hypnotize the opponent's cards and make them basically just on your side so so transfers the red enemy's team to your blue team say for example your hypnotist card went up to like a group of barbarian from your enemy's opponent's side he placed a bunch of barbarian and your hypnotist basically just hypnotizes them they turn straight around and start attacking their own towers so it's kind of like a kind of spell but instead of a spell it's like a unit that basically makes the opponent's troops play for your team so it's a really good card in my opinion definitely should be a legendary for that kind of I guess it's like a really unique card and it's got a unique purpose and the fact that it doesn't do any damage is kind of mind-blowing because obviously you do expect units to do some sort of damage but this guy doesn't do any damage the only damage that he kind of does is when he actually hypnotizes the opponent's cards to play for you so then they can start attacking their own troops and towers if you take a look at his hit points he's really nothing too big his hit points are pretty low at 640 he targets ground units so unfortunately he can't basically hypnotize air units such as like baby dragons balloons mega minions etc which is kind of a bummer but obviously there's bad sides and disadvantages to really overpowered cards as well so i really think sardar has made this card really balanced it's not too overpowered and it's really not too weak in any way shape or form his speed is medium so he's not really slow either which is pretty good and his range is 3.5 so he'd have he would have to be within 3.5 tiles basically three and a half tiles within the opponent's card to be able to actually hypnotize them to play for your troops his deploy time is one second his hypnotize small troops is four seconds so i'm guessing that would be commons hypnotize 
Rising medium troops, I'm guessing that's going to be rare cards, and obviously large troops is going to be probably epic cards, and that's going to take 10 seconds. The medium uh, troops would take 7 seconds, and the small troops would take 4 seconds, so that's really, really balanced in my opinion. Because if you think about it, 10 seconds is a lot of time in a battle, and if he's actually going to get hit by anything, like whether that's a fireball, arrows, like that will just instantly just reset him, and he won't be able to hypnotize the opponent's troops to play for your side. So I guess that's when the zap comes into play, because the zap would probably be the best thing for this card, because in the middle of him hypnotizing the opponent's card, you could easily just zap this guy, and he would basically reset, and then there's no chance that he could actually hypnotize your card. So now that we've taken a look at the hypnotist, his card, and his stats, let's take a look at the video that Sardar basically made that would be the introduction, commercial kind of, for this card. So remember, I'll check him out in the description below, because this guy is one of the best, if not the best, Clash Royale designer that I've seen for concepts and ideas at this current moment in time. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you guys the trailer that he's actually made. So yes guys, I actually couldn't believe it myself when I saw this because he actually made the animation on the card move, which is really mind-blowing. It's kind of like the way that Supercell make their new cards when they actually release them, and they make these kind of commercial trailers when they're going to be released. And I personally think that Sardar could definitely work for Supercell in the future because the amount of work he's putting into these cards, it must be really hard to just sit there and like think of ideas and just like actually put your thought to work and then like actually make all of this happen. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it, but yeah, that's going to be the first thing that we're talking about in this video, and it would definitely be something cool to see in this new Halloween update if Clash Royale would ever add something like this. So big props to Sardar, once again, check him out in the description, but now let's take a look at the new Halloween special offer that we could potentially get, something along these lines. Keep in mind guys, this stuff that I'm showing you guys is not leaks, this is actually just like ideas from the communities and just different designers work, so don't get confused and think that this is like going to come to the game sometime soon because it's probably not unless Supercell actually did decide to add this stuff, but for now it's only just the concepts and ideas. So this next special offer for Halloween is going to be called the Halloween. Halloween chest, and this is a limited one-time purchase. Basically, you can see the kind of cool background design for this chest. It's kind of like a purple midnight look with some bats and a witch flying around on a broomstick. And the chest is actually a pretty cool design itself. Now, basically, you're looking at this chest and you're thinking, what could this potentially do? Because then if you actually look to the side, it actually says that it will give you times one of the ghost, the scarecrow, and graveyard. So potentially we can get like a new scarecrow card. Obviously the ghost card has been leaked, so that's probably coming to the game sometime soon. And the graveyard, basically all three of those cards are kind of spooky, I guess, Halloween themed cards that you can actually get from this Halloween chest. Props to the designer, this is actually made by Clash Bros, whose Instagram I will obviously link in the description below. Make sure to check out this guy, he makes crazy edits. If we actually take a look at the chest, the chest is very well made. It's basically kind of like a light blue slash white gray kind of chest with a bunch of like red stuff on the outside like the the actual barrier of the chest is red along with the lock kind of thing and it, uh, the thing I like about the lock is actually it's kind of like a ghost on the lock and then the basically the mouth I'm pretty sure this would be the mouth of the ghost is actually where the key goes to unlock the chest so that's a pretty cool concept it looks like a kind of spider's web on the chest as well because you can actually see some like black kind of cobweb spider web looking design on top of the actual like white teal design of the chest and it's definitely Halloween themed because the red can actually symbolize kind of scariness and like danger in a way and it's definitely something creepy but the price would for this chest it says would be basically 2000 gems I'm pretty sure that's kind of like not an offer then because that's kind of more than it should actually cost because obviously a legendary does cost 500 gems but if you're paying 500 gems more for only three legendaries then you're kind of getting scammed so I'm pretty sure the Supercell wouldn't make the chance 2000 gems but instead maybe 1500 or maybe a thousand to try and get people the best for their value but yeah another definitely pretty cool concept made by Clash Bros remember to check them out in the description below like I said their Instagram is filled with crazy edits and basically concept ideas for Clash Royale so if you're one of those people who likes to see a bunch of edits that could potentially come to the game make sure to check out their Instagram and make sure to check out Sardar but basically that's going to be it for this video 
I've really nothing else to say. This is basically all the coolest ideas that I have seen for this new Clash Royale October update that could potentially come for Halloween really, really soon. If you want to get yourself some free Clash Royale gems, make sure to click the top link in the description below, and I will see you all in the next video, and peace.